Happening now, Kelsey Ballerini is on stage at Nissan Stadium for the third night of CMA Fest. Fans there still have Chris Stapleton and Keith Urban to come tonight. It's a jam-packed weekend, but the party is also continuing with a great deal of music down on Broadway. Many of the Honky Tonks have embraced CMA Fest to host their own nights of incredible music. And News Channel 5's Jesse Knutson is at Old Red, where Spotify has been helping to bring some of country's biggest acts like Cole Swindle, Hunter Hayes, and many others to the stage. Spotify and other streaming services has become one of the main ways that country music fans listen to their favorite artists. And during CMA Fest, a lot of those artists took over Blake Shelton's Old Red. For some, it was the perfect way to escape the heat. For others, it was the perfect place to see their favorite artists. Um, yeah, the crowd's awesome. Everyone's excited to be here. Spotify has been hosting artists at All Red throughout CMA Fest, and through their streaming platform, many fans have fallen in love with these artists like Jillian Jacqueline. Yeah, I love it. I love being able to use it to put out my own music and to discover other people's music. This weekend is focused on Hot Country, which are songs out of Nashville that are hot now. And while Spotify can inform fans about trending songs, it can tell artists who is listening to their music and where. They'll tell me like, hey, so you played in Des Moines, Iowa last night and we just saw a spike in listeners from Des Moines on Spotify, which is so cool. That allows artists to plan future tours based on where they have the most listeners. It's really exciting for us to be able to try to provide artists with those tools to understand who's listening to the, their music and also where are they listening. Spotify is nothing new. They've been helping artists share their music for years. I pay something and I get all the music I want, so it's that's awesome. But they're constantly working to innovate. We're starting to just expand the way that people can interact and engage with music. In the end, it benefits both the listener and artist. I just love the thought that someone in like some random city or country I've never even been to can pull up that song and hear it, you know, without it even being for sale where they live. <laughs> And Spotify hopes to expand their efforts, especially in country music here in Nashville. Like all the new people are on there and you can stream music for free sometimes. Jesse Knudsen. It's just a great app to have. News Channel 5.